Welcome to the video walkthrough for creating an MDA kit using the MD Analysis cookie cutter template. In this walkthrough, we'll go over building from the cookie cutter, adding code to the MDA kit, filling in tests, confirming that the code and tests work, finishing up the tests for continuous integration, providing documentation, deploying that documentation, making an initial release, and submitting a kit to the registry. This video serves as an overview for the content that's found at mdakits.mdanalysis.org slash making a kit. You can use the cookie cutter command to generate your MDA kit. All you have to do is fill in the relevant metadata. This includes author information, email address, and GitHub user handle. Now you can start implementing your kit. Here we create the demokit.py file. This is where we implement the RMSF analysis class. While we're here, we're going to import the class at the package level. From here, we're going to move on to implementing the tests. A basic testing file is already placed for you. You can replace the contents of this file with whatever is relevant for your kit. In the case of this demo kit, we need MD Analysis tests available. We need to update the test and the YAML for Conda, the pyproject.toml, and the setup.py. To run our tests, we'll have to set up our Conda environment as well as install our package. Once installed, run the pytest command. If everything works out, then you should receive no errors. To run continuous integration using GitHub Actions, we'll also need to install MD Analysis tests in the workflows file. Before continuing, make sure that you have a GitHub repository initialized that's consistent with the information you provided when you use the cookie cutter tool. Add the repository as a remote, commit your changes, and push. If you navigate to the repository, you'll see that the tests are now running. Once everything passes, we'll move on to documentation. You can update your environment to include the documentation tools by using the requirements file found in the docs directory. Run the make HTML command to generate your site. Open the index.html file found in the build directory and take a look through the site and make sure everything looks right. Here we're going to add some more information, including an introduction to the package and installation instructions. Run the make HTML command again and take a look at the site. Since our API documentation doesn't look quite right, we're going to change some of the settings in the auto summary directive, as well as ensure that the references are included properly. Since everything looks good, we're ready to deploy this to read the docs. Make sure to commit and push your changes. After logging in to read the docs, go to Import Project. You can filter your repositories and select the relevant one. After a few confirmations, it will trigger a build. Now you have publicly available documentation that was generated almost entirely by your doc streams. Next, we need to do a release for our MDA kit. We can do this by using git tags and version year. Whenever you want to make a new release, simply add a new git tag and make sure to push that to your repository. You can now see that on your repository, there is a new tag. We're going to convert this tag into a new release. Once we've made the release, we can move on to registering our MDA kit with the MDA kit's registry. In order to do this, create a fork of the MDA kit's repository under your own account. Once it's made, clone it to your machine. Once you're inside the repository, go into the MDA kit's directory. 
from here, make a directory for your MDA kit. You can just copy the template directory if you want. Commit and push these changes to your fork. From the repository, open up a pull request with the contribute button. State the name of your package, what it's supposed to do, and then wait for the test to pass. Once this is done, you can ping the maintainers for a review. Once this is merged, your kit is officially registered with the MDA kit's registry. For more information, I encourage you to take a look at mdakits.mdanalysis.org slash making a kit.